Welcome back, everybody. All right, welcome to my amazing mansion. All right, let me show you around to my beautiful place. This is definitely not uh, a green screen, right? You can see, and this is my living room, right? And upstairs, we have our two lovely bedrooms, right? There's a couch. There's our two armchairs right here. There is a table. <clears throat> There's a kitchen. There's a door. There's a stairs, right? So welcome to my amazing house. You guys are always welcome to come visit La Casa de Michael, right? So welcome to class. As always, my name is Teacher Michael. I am your instructor for OnlineEnglishTeacher.com and as well as Easy Learning, right? I even got a fancy new haircut to show off my new mansion, right? Like I said, this is not a green screen. This is definitely my house. I definitely live in this place. But let's get into it. Today, we're going to be talking about, right, how to talk about what's in your house. Can you describe your house for me, please? Right? So um, this can be challenging for some students, right? Especially with regards to singular and plural, but this lesson will be pretty much covering that, right? So let's get into it right away. The grammar structure and using there is and there are to describe common furniture in the house is a straightforward way to convey a presence of various items, right? These phrases are used to indicate the existence or presence of these objects or things in a particular location. Here's how the structure works, right? There is. There is, is used to describe a presence of a single item, right? A single item, right? Singular noun, right? We're talking about only one item. When we talk about singular, right? We talk about one only, right? Like for example, there is a sofa in the living room, right? We have a sofa, one sofa, right? Only one in the living room, right? There's a dining table in the kitchen. <clears throat> there is a bed in the bedroom. There is a bookshelf in the study. Uh, typically in America, we usually say uh, office, right? Or office room. Uh, we don't really say study so much, but in England, they often say study, right? But in America, we office, often say uh, office. Okay. Now let's get into this about Plural use, right? In each, in each of these sentences, sentences that we said above, there is is followed by a singular noun, right? Sofa, dining, table, bed, bookshelf, right? We're talking about one again, only one item, right? Let's say, for example, I'm trying to draw a table. This is my table right here. It's really bad, but this is my really ugly table, right? Say, for example, this is my table. I only have one table in the living room, right? Now, let's talk about plural, right? It's more than one, right? Let's erase all this because it's just distracting us, right? There are is used to describe the presence of multiple items or plural items, right? Plural nouns. There are two chairs in the dining room. There are three paintings in the hallway, right? There are several lamps in the living room. There are many books in the bookshelf, right? But how, let's say for example, that you want to explain that you have something in your house, right? Let's say for example, you wanna explain that I have, right? I have these things, right? These are just practically saying that these things exist. Right? But what if you want to explain to somebody that I have, I have a TV, right? It follows the same rule, right? We can just use a subject, right? We have the subject. Uh, hold on. Uh, there we go. We have the subject. We have the verb to have. And then you have your complement, right? I have subject, verb, complement. You can always say, I have a TV. You can say, I have a TV in my living room, right? That can also work. In my living room. Room, right? In my living room, period. <clears throat> to convey that you have something, instead of saying there are, there is, right? You can just say, 
I have as well, right? I have a TV in my living room, right? But if you want to say, uh, if you want to convey that there's a presence of something within your house, you can say there are or there is, right? Remember, there are is for plural, right? There is is for singular, right? Singular, one, plural, many. Okay, let's go on to the next one. I should be covering the same points. Hold on, right here. Oh, okay. In these sentences, there are is followed by a plural noun, chairs, painting, lamps, books, to indicate the existence of multiple items in this specific location, right? A specified location, specified location, right? Remember, you can use these structures to describe various objects or pieces of furniture in different rooms of a house. It's a useful way to give someone an idea of what's inside in a particular room or area, right? So let's do a little exercise. Here's a little photo that we have here, right? The first room is a living room. Can you guys tell me, remember you guys can practice, what, what is in this living room? What, I'll put that in the chat. What is in, this living room, right? What is in what is in the living room, right? Can you guys tell me? So take take a moment. Let's look at the living room and tell me what type of furniture is in the living room. What type of furniture is in the living room, right? Okay. What you guys can do is also pause the video, right? And then you practice by yourself. But right now, I'm going to give you guys the answer, or at least the living room. There are, is an armchair, or two armchairs. There are two armchairs in the living room. Uh, there is a lamp. There is a painting. There is a bookshelf. Uh, there is a fireplace, right? There's many more items as well, but those are the, more, those are, those are the ones that stick out, right? So there is, there are. There are two armchairs. There's a painting, there's a bookshelf, right? And then there's a lamp and there's a fireplace, right? Okay, now let's go to the kitchen. Okay, in the kitchen, we have, there's a refrigerator. There are two chairs, right? One, two. There is a uh, oven. There is a washing machine. There's a microwave. There's some shelves, right? And then there's a window, right? There's a lot of more singular items here than more, than plural items, right? Now let's go to the office or the study room, right? There's two bookshelves. There are two bookshelves, right? There are two chairs, right? I think there's a chair right here as well, two chairs. There's one armchair, right? And there's one desk, there's one clock, and there's one, I guess, painting or diploma, right? Okay, now let's go to the bedroom. Right, there is a wardrobe, there is a bed, there is a lamp, there are two paintings, right? Right here, there is a mirror, there is a shelf, right? Very good. There are plenty more items that exist here, but what I want you guys to do, right, is look at these pictures here, right? And I want you to identify, right? all the items in the video and say there is or there are, right? I know I covered most of them, but there's still some items, right, that exist. If you're having trouble looking, let me make this bigger. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Okay, let me see. I don't think I can. Oh, maybe this, ah, this one. Let me make it bigger. For you guys to see but what i want you guys to do in the comments down below tell me what you can see how many are there right if it's singular or plural right and tell me the each types of rooms i know i just went over the rooms right but i want you to still tell me the rooms right because the more that you can reinforce your learning in english the more you can practice using english in your life, okay? The more that you can practice, the better you get, 
Okay, so even if I gave you the answers, please repeat the answers because it will help you learn and understand English much more quickly than if you don't. Okay, very good. So this is today's lesson, right? I'll be making more lessons. I like making lessons for you guys. Uh, it's my goal to give a lesson almost, I would say maybe four to five times a week, right? Because I really want people to learn English. I know so many people that don't know English, right? Or learning English can be very expensive, right? I want to provide free and easy resources for students because I feel like we are living in a very globalized world and I want you guys to learn, okay? I want you guys to be a part of the process. So maybe when you guys can learn English, right? You will have better opportunities in your life, right? And that's a big goal for me, for my students. I want you guys to learn English and become the best at learning English, okay? So if you really support that, please like the channel, please subscribe to the channel, right? And tell your friends and family about our videos, right? Hope to see you guys soon and take care. Bye-bye. I'm gonna go relax in my mansion, okay? Bye-bye.